What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and I figured I'd just make this little, sort of wish list video for the DLC characters that will be added into Tekken 7. So it has been confirmed that two DLC guest characters will be added into the game after launch. I'm not sure if the team has already decided on these guest characters or if they're letting feedback decide, but I figured I'd throw my two cents in. Now take note, this is a wish list, not a video prediction, so the ideas I come up with will be pretty outrageous and unlikely, but eh, you can dream, can't you? So here are my top five most wanted Tekken 7 DLC guest characters, in no particular order. Here at number 5 we have none other than Crash Bandicoot himself. See, I told you it'd be unlikely. I mean, he's a huge PlayStation icon that's been around since the PlayStation 1, and he also has a game releasing in June, just like Tekken 7. And I think he would make a very unique fighter in the game, fighting with this sort of slapstick combat style instead of a traditional martial art. For his power crush, he could pull out Aku Aku, and for his rage art, he could run them over with his car. And since the DLC characters get their own stages too, there'd be a huge variety to choose from that would stand out from the rest of the stages already in Tekken 7. My personal pick for a stage is the Crash Bandicoot, 3 Warp Room, but it'd be cool to see them fighting in Insanity Beach, or even in that stage where you fight Cortex at the end of Crash Bandicoot Warped. Despite how out there Crash may seem as a character, I think he'll fit right in with the roster. We already have Boxing Kangaroos, Panda Bears, and I think it'd be a nice way to pay tribute to both Tekken's and Crash's legacy on the PlayStation. At number 4, we have Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Yes, yes, I know the game's only rated T, there wouldn't be any gore for Scorpion to cause. But they already have Akuma from Street Fighter, and can you imagine? Tekken, the leader of the pack which has sold more than both Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat, allowing characters from their two closest competitors to come in and join the fight. Tekken, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, it would be the biggest fighting game crossover since Super Smash Bros. And that game was literally designed to be a crossover. For number 3, we have yet another fighting game character from Soul Calibur. I mean, they've had Tekken characters in Soul Calibur, so why not bring one of them over here? They've had Heihachi, they've had Katsuhiro Harada himself, and they've even got Yoshimitsu. They could do Ivy, they could do Nightmare, I mean, he's probably the most well-known now, thanks to Death Battle. And it wouldn't be hard to get the rights to one of the characters considering they're both Namco properties. And if we had already gotten Scorpion at this point, this would make four fighting games crossing over. Not only that, but Soul Calibur is also full of weapon users. We could always use more of those in Tekken. So literally anyone from Soul Calibur. Go for it, Namco. For number two, we have something even more ridiculous than Crash Bandicoot, a Naruto character. And no, 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 this isn't the Tekken version of put Goku in Smash Bros. There's actual connections here. First, there's the fact that Namco produces many of the Naruto fighting games. Second, there's the fact that Lars from Tekken 6 actually cameoed in one of the Naruto fighting games as a playable character. Third, Masashi Kishimoto himself actually designed one of Lars's alternate outfits. With all of these things in mind, a Naruto character in Tekken 7 doesn't seem so weird, now does it? Plus, like I mentioned with Crash Bandicoot, the DLC guest characters also get their own stage. Wouldn't it be cool to see Sakura and Elisa going head-to-head -head in the Hidden Leaf Village, or Jin and Sasuke going toe-to-toe -to -toe in the Uchiha clan hideout? If a Naruto character does make it in, I'm definitely hoping for Sasuke or Rock Lee, but any character is fine. Now for number one. With a Soul Calibur character being the most likely out of all these choices, this one is definitely the most fitting. None other than Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid. I mean, heck, this guy fits in so well with Tekken that they could plop him right into the story. There's a world war going on, of course Snake has to be the one to stop it. Not only that, but the tone of Metal Gear fits Tekken 7 as well. They also have giant robots and supernatural humans and cyborg ninjas. He even has his own style in the form of CQC. Could you imagine an epic showdown between Solid Snake and the Russian Sergei Dragunov in the middle of a fiery city destroyed by war? That would be so amazing. And once again, he fits very well. In fact, he fits so well that even people who don't know Snake would assume that he's just another Tekken character, not a guest. So overall, these are the five picks I have for Tekken 7. I know they may already have them decided. I know there's only going to be two, and I suggested five. But this video is fun, so bleh.